Hey, hi there, Aries. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I'm thanking you for tuning in to the energies and influences coming through for your monthly reading, March 2019. This is a condensed general reading. Please only take those portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me out a lot, and it helps to bring your future vibrations into those future readings. I also send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out my description box below. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Aries. Off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card. It's the background and the basis of the matter for the month. The Eight of Wands, Aries. Fire energy, this is your element. This card represents movement. The action, things happen rapidly. It's the end of delay. This could even be air travel. This is an approach to a goal and reaching a conclusion. It's changes on many levels. This is increased exchange of energy that makes things easier and some things even possible. These could be relationship messages coming in. Messages and letters of love. Could be email messages, texting, voicemails. This is something that's already been set into motion. And you're staying in the flow energetically. You need to be up and doing things. It's a time of activities and new beginnings. It's exciting. There may be moves. There's high activity. The air crackles with energy. Rapid fire energy and swiftness is assured. And you are ready and responsive and you get results in record time. Your second card and this is the energy crossing over your path. Number 20 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. Judgment. This is a spiritual awakening and another beginning card. This could be a Scorpio. This is rebirth and release and review. There's new purpose and new plans. And now delays can be conquered by the development of the spirit. This is legal judgments in your favor. This is a change in personal consciousness. It's now on the verge of blending with the universal. This is coming to terms with yourself, going down to rise up. A very special moment in life. A very important way. This is rising up and seeking new possibilities. You might feel like you've been called. You're going to be deeply inspired and uplifted. Going to be awakened and reborn. Feel like you're summoned. Summoned to a higher awareness. Feel like you're being redeemed. And you're on the same wavelength with others. Being inspired having big ideas. This is a new phase. You may be awakening to your purpose, experiencing a breakthrough, and getting a second lease on life. You're leaving the past behind, thinking out of the box, and uniting in a common goal, and rallying others. Your health is going to improve, and your problems are going to be easily solved. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. This is great, Aries. The Ace of Pentacles. This is Earth energy. It's a healthy beginning. It's prosperity. It's a gift from the universe. This earth energy, pentacles are also called diamonds or discs. It has to do with money and fortune and trade. 
It's the suit of the merchants. This is the beginning of gain and pleasure and beauty. It's a new opportunity. Aces are a seed to be nurtured. You can find inspiration and joy in nature. This is an opportunity for real growth, beginning of a new project, a chance to improve your health. It's a gift you can use to invest in your future gain. It could be a new job or an opportunity or a chance for a promotion. It's a good time to start improving your home. So begin building the foundation for the future and spend time in nature and you'll find fresh inspiration. But do not overlook this gift. It needs to be nurtured to come to fruition. Your fourth card, it's the future card. The results, the outcome, and the advice. The King of Swords, Aries. This is an air energy person. Could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. This person is calm and self-assured. He gives the impression of inner strength and inner conviction. The suit of the air has to do with the mind and the love of truth and justice. He rules with justice and firm moral convictions, and he's deeply committed. He's not easily swayed by pleas for mercy or compassion. He judges harshly, but with complete fairness. He's feared but respected, and he is in a position of authority. He can be suspicious and overly cautious. But when tempered with compassion, his qualities of strength and character are highly commendable. He's an intelligent, charming person with logic and reasoning powers. This could be you or someone you know. They're highly principled, and they believe in keeping their word. They're blunt and abrupt and upfront with the truth. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card, the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. Number six of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the lovers. This could be a Gemini. This has to do with choice and relationship, love and union, and sexuality. This choice, it could be a temptation or attraction. It may be the struggle between sacred and profane love. It's harmony of the inner and outer aspects of life learning and growing through relationships. There's trials. Soulmate. This is a blessed union because of that angel above. Also, you have the angel and the judgment card. It's a blessing. This is a person that's meant for you. Sometimes this is a difficult choice. Could be problems of a sexual nature but this card represents the power of a mature sexual union. And the angel above them stands for truth and strength found in their relationship. This is an important and usually long-lasting relationship. There will be trials that you overcome. This could be a choice between two lovers or a business deal could be work or business. Free will is the objective here. It's an attraction for something different coming. And you're about to evolve into a higher plane of understanding. And now your oracle card from the Sacred Traveler deck by Denise Lynn. Traveling lightly. Simplify your life. Release what doesn't support you. A busy life and the accumulation of more than you need create static. Clear internal and external clutter. Do what matters and release the rest to find peace, grace, and stillness. Simplify your life. Otherwise, it's difficult to hear the voice of the Creator. Create time to rest and rejuvenate. And the Sacred Traveler wants you to know that on the journey, 
We often gather things that don't support us. It's, it's time to say goodbye to fellow travelers, situations, and objects that don't bring out the best in us. Keep what works and let go of the rest. Doing what is essential and releasing everything else is one of the fastest ways to align with the tranquil vibration of the spiritual realm. Clear things from your schedule and do not advance your life forward. Even if a small amount of this cleansing can make an immense difference. Here's your take note moment. Every religion tells of the truth of gratitude. They all speak of giving thanks. All the sages and saviors and teachers of the world demonstrated the use of gratitude in all their teachings. The greatest teachers who have ever lived showed us the way with gratitude. By their example, they became shining lights in our history. Compassion will make you beautiful. Thanks, you guys. I hope you stay tuned in by leaving me a comment or thumbs up. Now remember, what goes around comes around. I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.